Sean Clement here at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And um, this is, we're just starting out our winter supervised practice sessions. And one of the things that we work on a lot in the wintertime are the fine tuning as aspects of the swing. And uh, the leg work and the foot work we work on quite a bit because without proper legs and feet, the hips can't do their job underneath the pelvis, okay? So if you remember, if you go back to our, our video, no, bone, no Bones About It and Be a Better Ball Striker, you'll remember that the rib cage and the pelvis, they move together and they form a nice tall turntable that sits on top of the hips. Well, the thing is, if the hips are going to do their job and pivot properly underneath the pelvis, the legs must respond. If the legs don't move, if the legs are, are, are stuck or, and they're too tense, then the hips won't be able to turn. If the hips don't turn, that means that the, the pelvis and the rib cage can't get out of the way of the arms. And it's just gonna feel very discombobulated, okay? So you'll notice how from the femur, uh, the, the, top, the, the hip joint itself, the ball of the hip is, is majorly attached to the top of the femur here. That comes down and is, is basically the femur, the bottom of the femur forms half of your knee, all right? So the knee joint, it obviously, the leg is not designed to, to move this way. Uh, I did that once and I, I suffered the consequences of a major surgery. So now we don't want any strain or stress on the knee joint and that's why that the feet need to work properly underneath those knees to allow the knees to do what they need to do as well. Now as far as the foot joint is concerned, okay, so let me, um, let me zoom in on this for a second here just to show you up close what that foot joint looks like, okay? There we go. So you'll see that the foot itself is designed to roll to the inside. It's, it's like imagine a hand without a thumb. That's basically it, okay? And so everything rolls to the inside very nicely, but doesn't roll very kindly to the outside. You'll notice that the, the outer joint right here is for stability, okay? So when you're using your feet properly, you're rolling to the inside. So let's look at what that would look like in your golf swing now. All right. Let me set up right here. And I'll get you to see the swing. You won't see my head here, but that doesn't matter. We want from the hips down. So if we look at what it looks like in the golf swing, the hips turn under the pelvis so that the pelvis, notice the belt buckle turns to the right. When that happens, the right hip needs to be able to move behind the left hip. And you'll notice that the femur, the whole femur rotates. See how my hand rotates on top of that femur, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do that at the expense of losing the leverage on the inside of the right foot. The right foot stays super solid on the ground. But what happens is the left foot is gonna roll in as the, the left knee rotates inward, okay? So that left hip moves out in front, brings the left knee inward. You don't want that left knee poking out on you because then you lose your stack, you lose your support, okay? So I use stack as a support system, right? Not as a, not as a term to describe how you know, everything floats over one spot. So you, when I say your stack means you could put a ton of weight on my shoulders and I could support it, all right? So when you turn, that rotates in. Now, as the left knee rotates in, notice the left foot rolls in, as I'm coming down, the left knee will now rotate around this way, but as a result of that left hip coming back. So you notice how that left hip comes back to its position. That's why it's so important that right foot stay on the ground through impact. Just ask Kenny Perry and Scott Verplank. Now from there, you'll notice that the right knee starts rotating in and the right foot starts rolling in because now my right hip is moving forward, my right knee is moving in, and then my right foot is rolling to the inside. Then through impact, and then after impact, the shoulder collects the head, brings the head up, and that's where the right heel will come off the ground. So it's roll, roll. Left knee rotates, right knee rotates. Left hip moves in front of the right, right hip moves in front of the left. So you've got this wonderful coordinated rolling of the feet. Jack Nicholas 
was superb at doing this. Just watch them with a, watch a few of the 1986 Masters replays there. You're going to see some wonderful rolling of his feet. Now, for some of you, that rolling is going to require that left heel to come off the ground. That's fine, as long as now you're, you're balanced on the inside of the right foot. Now, the first move, obviously, is the left heel's going to plant. And as that left heel plants, it's planting with pressure from the left hip. Now you're properly squatted into position. So it's going to look like this. All right, so rolls in, plants, and then accepts the swing coming through. And the platform is extremely solid on this side. Okay? And it's the same thing. You know, so that allows you to finish that back swing, plant, rotate through, and then you'll notice as my body comes out of its position, that right heel will come off the ground and allow you to finish in a beautifully stacked position over that left side. Okay? So I hope that helps put the package together for you as far as allowing your legs to work. What it should feel like is your legs feel very supportive. I could support a lot of weight, but at the same time, they feel buoyant enough to move and to allow the feet to roll, okay? So as the, the weight of the arms move this way, the left knee rotates in, then the weight secures itself on it as it comes through, because the weight's off the right side, the right foot can roll in, okay? And as the feet are rolling in, there's, there's a little less pressure on top of them, all right? So any questions, let me know. And uh, you know, for all of you lucky enough to spend the winter with us, this is one of the things that we're gonna be looking at.